it's been almost a year now since everything changed and i'm still i'm still on a cloud nine from it man like i'm riding this out as long as i can and as best i can and that's the part that's the most important i've carried this company known as wc on my back almost some people would say solely on my back you have been the man you have been the guy you kept wce alive I mean, let's be honest, you kept WCE going. Was it Mr. Brightside? Was it Nicholas Krenson, Darkfire? Was it James Marshall, whoever else is in WCE? It wasn't certainly Craven Rage. The only I, reason that I've people been have an interest boy. in... Listen, the only reason people have an interest in WCE still is because Sean Joby, that's his company. He plays there. That's the facts. Give me that camera. Two years I have been waiting for this. WCE. All backyard fans have just been put on notice. Jonathan Peters is back, bitch. He might try to make a name off you, but you know what? He ain't America's resident rock star. He ain't a double champion. He ain't America's gold winner. He ain't America's cat father. America's vlogger. He ain't America's foundation member. He ain't the man who was the father of the all wrestling matters movement but jonathan pierce he's looking to ruin that he's in my opinion he's jealous of the success i had in the time he was gone in my opinion i think he really wishes he could be sean jovi but the problem is that he's not exactly he's he's not not. he can put the backyard on notice by taking me out all you want there's nothing that's going to stop me like I said, when I looked in his eyes, the moment we locked up, I could tell this is a different Jonathan Pierce than the one that held the interstate title to begin with. And, hey, me the best man win, Jonathan. But you know who it is, my man. The anniversary oh. show. Jonathan Pierce versus Sean Jovi for the interstate openweight title. If I can't beat you, I can't challenge you anymore while you're changing. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is a last chance match for the WCE Interstate Open Weight Championship. If Jonathan Pierce cannot win the championship today, he can no longer challenge Sean Joby as long as he is still champion. And it is now time for our main event. As you hear it from our ring announcer, folks, it is a last chance match for the Interstate Open Weight Championship. And this match has been a long time coming as the challenger Jonathan Pierce had just made his return after two years being away from wrestling in general. He did have a one-off appearance on IMF at Highway to Hell and he showed he still had fire in him and he has come back with a purpose to become a two-time interstate opening champion and he looks to go against a man that he has yet to beat in one-on-one champ competition he lost to Jovi at Ring of Destruction 3 and he is also dra- drawn in a no contest against Jovi back when he was interstate champion as well
and here comes the challenger, the executioner, Jonathan Pierce, who has been waiting a long time to become a, the top champion in WCE as he challenges today and his last chance at the Interstate Openweight Championship. If he doesn't win today, he can't challenge Jovi no more. This is the last shot for Jonathan Pierce. And you know what they say? They say there's nothing more dangerous than a man who's waiting. And Jonathan Pierce has waited for so long to get this opportunity again. But he's got to contend with a champion who has been on a roll ever since last year at Rise to the Occasion. And that is our current Interstate Openweight Champion, our resident rock star, and also the IMF United States Champion, Sean Jovi who is making his way to the ring now to his beautiful theme done by Steel Panther a cover of I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys that song is just beautiful folks yeah. and here he comes a double champion the Interstate Openweight Champion and the IMF United States Champion Sean Jovi he regained that title at IMS Cyber Slam against Isaiah Rage. Even with the, the deck stack against him with Ace Diamond actually having rigged it to become the special guest referee, luckily Levi McDaniel set Ace Diamond straight. Tell me why, folks, do you think Jovi is on a roll here? Because he's been on a roll since last August, and I don't think Pierce knows what he's getting himself into, but Pierce is a no different animal than Dean. Let's go to ring introductions. First, the challenger from Appleton, Wisconsin, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is... The Executioner, Jonathan Pierce! And his opponent, from the Peter, Wisconsin, weighing in at 338 pounds, he has been watching dinner live since 1990. He will kick his opponent's butt to so bad that they will And it is time, folks. This is our main event here today at WCE Rise to the Occasion 3rd Anniversary Celebration. It is a last chance match as Jonathan Pierce challenges Sean Jovi and the ref holding the belt up. That is the prize today, folks. And ref checking both men, making sure neither of them are brandishing any weapons. And it is on, folks! Here we go! Last chance match, Pierce versus Jovi! This is the third one-on-one -on -one encounter between these two men. And let's see what they are, let's see what's gonna happen here. Oh, and just a little jaw jacking here. Lock up by both men. And a headlock by Jovi on Pierce. And, and Pierce shooting Jovi off the ropes. Going for a shoulder jack on that. Does not budge Jovi one bit. And now Jovi going off the ropes. Shoulder jack on that. Pierce doesn't move. And, and Jovi does have the size advantage, but you gotta remember that 
Pierce is stronger than on an ox. And big clothesline just knocking Joby down. And that's the, the thing about Pierce. He is deceptively strong for a man his size. I've seen him deathlift Nicholas Krenzen like he was nothing. Big chops in the corner by Pierce on Jovi. And now, now Pierce setting Jovi into the corner. What's he going to go for here? Big lit! And off the corner again, another big lariat on Jovi by Pierce, and P Jovi just crashing to the mat there. And nobody hits as hard as Jonathan Pierce does. He is one of the stiffest, well, stiffest workers I, that anybody's ever been in the ring with here. I know from back to hearing from both Nicholas Cranston and, and James Marshall that both said when when you face Jonathan Pierce, you feel it the next day and. Lock up again by Pierce and Jovi here. And Pierce mean Jovi in the gut here. And what's he going for here? Oh my god, a big suplex on Sean Jovi by Jonathan Pierce. And going for the cover. And no, just a barely a two count there by Pierce on Jovi. Jovi able to get his shoulder up. And now, Pierce locking in on a chin lock on Jovi with his knee dug into the back of Jovi. And knee drop to the shoulder blade of Sean Jovi by Jonathan Pierce. And a big leg drop across the back of the head. Cover and no! Jovi getting the shoulder up again. Come on, ref. And, and Pierce jaw jacking with the ref there, telling, saying, come on, ref. I, I wonder if he thinks that would have been enough to beat Jovi. I'm not sure, though. And Jovi reverses, sitting Pierce in the corner. Jovi with a big chop. Several big chops onto Pierce. And look at Tom chop on Pierce by Jovi. And Jovi sending Pierce into the corner. What's he going for? Looking for Padrex and Soda on Pierce by Sean Jovi. And Jovi going for the pin here. And Pierce getting the shoulder up. And Jovi looking at off the rope here. And he's going to drop the base on Pierce. Going for the cover. And Pierce getting the shoulder up there. Cover again. And Pierce again getting the shoulder up. And what's Jovi going for here? Big senton on Pierce by Jovi. We don't see that senton too often, but when he hits it, that is a lot of weight on Pierce. And no, Pierce getting the shoulder up again. Pierce does not want to go out on his back here. He is fighting tooth and nail because he wants to be that two-time interstate champion again. A title that he feels that he should never have lost. And it actually is the title that he lost that ended his career two years ago. And what, what, is, what is Pierce going for here? Pierce going for a big suplex. Getting out of that headlock there is Pierce. And the referee counting here. Both men down. And Pierce slowly getting to his feet here. And now just going after Jovi with the right hands to the side of the head of Jovi. And what is Pierce going for here? And he says, fuck it, he's going up top. We haven't seen this in a long time from Jonathan Pierce. Shades of the Pierce of old. Diving splash on the Jovi off the top rope goes Jonathan Pierce going for the cover. And no! Just barely, Jovi just Barely getting the shoulder up at the last second there. It was 2.99 there on Jovi by Pierce. Jovi not going to go down without a fight here, it looks like. 
Oh, now Pierce got him hooked up. <gasps> Big, massive belly to belly. I've never seen anybody throw Jovi around like this before. Jo he's it? throwing Jovi around like he's a cruiserweight. Doing it. Let's go, Sean. Yeah. And now, what is Pierce going to do here? Just clubbing away at Jovi and Jovi. Jovi just... Just firing up here, a fighting spirit of Sean Jovi. And and I don't know if that is working. Jovi! Oh, kick to the gut! Big giddy team by Jovi! And Jovi going for the cover here, both legs hooked! And Pierce getting the shoulder up! And now Jovi dragging Pierce to the center of the ring here. And what is he going for here? Uh-oh. Uh, looks like Jovi looking for that diving. Drop the base off the second rope that he loves to incorporate. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. Big drop the base off the second rope. And again, Pierce barely getting a shoulder up. And the, and the fans saying that was three, and he, even Jovi believes that was three there. And what has Jovi got to do to keep Pierce down? And, and I think Jovi's signaling for the better roses here. He's saying he's going to put, put Pierce to bed here. What is he going to go for here? It has to be the better roses, folks. Is he going to get it here? Oh, he, he says it. He's going for it. Better Roses here. He's hooking him up here. Better Roses. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Pierce fighting out of it. And a dandy cutter on Jovi by Jonathan Pierce. Shades of Danny Dan Slater, the, the older brother of Kodak Kid, a.k.a. Mr. Brightside, there with that. And speaking of Mr. Brightside, the winner of this match has him to contend with as in, as he will challenge the winner of this act. Oh, but Jovi gets the foot on the rope right in the pen. Like I said, the winner of this match will have to contend with Mr. Brightside at Black and Blue, our next show, folks, for the Interstate Championship. But who will it be? Will it be Jovi or will it be Pierce? We're going to find out here in a little bit. And Pierce just playing in at those shots on Jovi. Forearms, ref. And John Jackin with the ref too, as he's at it. And what is, what is Pierce going for here? Oh no, not another one. And again with just the greatest of ease, he just tosses Jovi down with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex, and he's picking Jovi up. Uh oh, what's he going for here? Was it on for a vertical? No! Oh, Brainbuster! Brainbuster by Pierce on Sean Jovi, and that had to take a lot out of Jovi there. Both men down, though, referee counting. Oh, cover! And Jovi getting his shoulder up. I don't know how much that Brainbuster took out of Jovi there. That move flanged you right on the back of your neck and head. And Pierce just clubbing away. And Pierce going in the corner here. And Pierce. I think Pierce is realizing what he has to do here. And he's lining Jovi up. He's got him marked in. His sights are set here. What is what is Pierce going for? Oh, big piercing blue! on Sean Jovi by by Jonathan Pierce and Jovi Jovi still struggling to his feet here why would he stay just stay down kid and Jovi just digging down deep and Pierce is just letting him up again and a second piercing blow to Jovi by Pierce and I oh no Pierce is learning. He's setting him up again. I think he wants to make sure that Jovi stays down. He's going to go for a third one here. It's Jovi. Not like that. Five, two, three. Let's go. 
And the fans calling Jovi to dig deep, but I don't know how deep he can dig because he's gonna be, he's in it. Pierce hasn't lined up. It's gonna be the trifecta here, folks. And a third piercing blow on Sean Jovi by Pierce. And that is it, folks. We have a new Interstate Open Way champion. Jovi still trying to get up too after the match. Yeah, Jovi, Jovi still to his feet here. That that third spear was able to keep him down for the three count, but not for he wasn't down for long as Jovi gets to his feet here. But what is he gonna do here? Hugging the interstate title that he just lost to Jonathan Pierce. And handing it over. Remember folks, it all it takes is three seconds for a title to change hands. And Pierce was able to keep Jovi's shoulders down after three consecutive spears with that. But also, Jovi still standing after this match. And I these two I would love to see running it back again, but now they're embracing it. You know, Jovi going out as an honorable champion. Giving the hug to Pierce and giving him the acknowledgement. As now, Jonathan Pierce is a two time interstate open weight champion. And now we know that our next show, Black and Blue, it will be Jonathan Pierce defending the interstate open weight championship against Mr. Brightside. But man, what a show this has been today. We saw an amazing, amazing match between Chess J and Reus. We saw Darkfire and Mr. Brightside go to war for a shot at this Interstate Open Way Championship. We saw Sinister by the skin of his teeth and Mr. Brightside attacking Nicholas Krenzai and retaining the All Out Championship did Sinister. And now we end with a new interstate open weight champion and his name is the executioner jonathan pierce folks this has been an amazing show from top to bottom and i am debo samson and i will see you folks at black and blue have a wonderful day folks